All right, uh, got something today that I'm quite excited about, something I've been waiting on for a long time. I finally got my new computer, and so I wanted to um, just kind of go through this. I haven't set it up, I haven't even turned it on yet, so I'm gonna we're gonna try and do this live here, and um, or you won't be seeing this live, but we'll see what we can do and if we can get this going or not. Um, so you ready to see it? It's not this. Here it is. This is Chip, the supposedly the world's first $9 computer. Uh, it's from Next Thing Co. Uh, I backed it, I don't know, August, September last year, so it's been quite a while. So let's open this thing up, huh? About the simplest unboxing. I don't know, this may have Mac beat for, uh, uh, you know, ease of packaging and unboxing. So here it is. This is the chip unit. Let's see, I'll move this a little closer here. Let's see if we can't get uh, a good shot of this. All right, so this is the this is the chip unit. Um, it has, I believe, 512 megabytes of memory and, a f and four gigabytes of storage. And I do not remember the specs on the processor, but over here, of course, you got the USB and uh, the power port right here, which is a mini USB. And then this right here is for audio or audio and video if you want to use like a RCA, uh, which it did come with those. And um, that's pretty much it. And then it's got um, a little clip here in the back, uh, one of these little things for attaching a battery pack uh, if you want. So there's all kinds of things you can do with it. It comes with an OS already loaded, um, and I haven't I haven't seen that. So hopefully we'll be able to get that running here, and be able to you know fire this up. So I've used the the included RCA plugs. That's what it came with. You know the uh, you got your uh, yellow yellow white and red. Um, you have to supply your own power, uh, but you can you can run it from a, a USB off your computer if you want. That's why they don't give you a power cord or I've got this laying around. This is a, a, a charger to a BlackBerry that I no longer have, a five volt mini USB charger. So we're gonna use this and plug this in. And um, once I do that, I'm gonna have to, the, uh, the RCA cables are real small. So uh, we're, we're not gonna be able to uh, see that from there. All right, let's see, I'm gonna find a plug here. Plug this in and plug this in. I actually don't even know how to turn this thing on. So the other thing it didn't come with uh, is any real instructions. Of course, it's all online, so we don't really have to worry about that. Oh, we got lights. That's good. Okay, so now I'm just going to see if I can plug this in back here. See if it can reach just barely. All right, plugged in all the way there, and we'll turn the TV on and see if we can't get this to show up. Oh, and I've got a, got a uh, wireless keyboard, so we'll have to plug that in. Ideally, I would have a hub, a USB hub, and I could plug in a, a mouse to it as well. So it's also got onboard uh, Bluetooth, so you can hook up a, a Bluetooth uh, a mouse and a keyboard and the other thing where to put that the other thing it has that I got with it this was an add-on is uh, they call it the chip dip um, in VGA so you could get an HDMI or a VGA with the Kickstarter bundle um, I went with the VGA at the time because I didn't have this screen so I didn't all I had was a VGA um, I wish I got the uh, HDMI now but before I can use this so this um, before I can use this, I need to I need to update it via the browser, and um, supposedly that makes it pretty easy. That's pretty easy to do. But anyway, this this VGA adapter just clips right into the board. So if we take that off, we see it's got these panels, and um, and it'll just it'll just slide on right there. It's got all these pins right there so that'll that'll snap onto the board 